Okay, let's talk about the midpoint formula. And of course, in algebra, you have to learn a lot of different formulas, things like the distance formula, the midpoint formula, the quadratic formula, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, again, the midpoint formula is very important, but it's very, very easy. So here I have two points, and if you think you can find the midpoint of these two points, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually gonna uh, show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm gonna walk through step-by-step step what is the midpoint formula and how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades and it really is my true passion to help as many uh, people as I possibly can learn mathematics. And I'm gonna tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time in mathematics. Please do not give up. Not only is there hope uh, for you to pass a math course if you happen to be a student right now, but you can do so, so well in math. And if you don't believe me, you're like, yeah, you know, you're just telling me that. Listen, it is true, but here's the deal, okay? If you're confused in class, if you're frustrated because you're not understanding uh, what's going on, well, you're not learning. Okay, the key, and this kind of sounds obvious to uh, learning mathematics, is to find math instruction you actually understand. You see, math is a technical subject and it can be confusing. The way I like to teach math is to explain things in easy to understand uh, language so all students get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test like the GED, SAT, or a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely must have a great pair of notes. Hopefully you're taking your own notes, okay? That's the key. You really need to be taking awesome math notes, but you can use my notes in the meantime if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so the midpoint formula, what is it? Well, obviously, just based upon, you know, uh, the description of it, if you just kind of read midpoint formula, well, it's probably a formula that tells us the midpoint between two points. That's exactly what this is. So here we have uh, two points, two XY points, or two ordered pairs. So we have one, four, and three, six. What is the midpoint between these two points? Well, the midpoint would be two, five, okay, this point right here. So that is what the midpoint is. Now, some of you might be still confused on what the midpoint formula is asking us uh, or what it's like you know, asking you to do. I'm gonna explain all this in a second, but if you happen to get this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus and a 100% and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know all about the midpoint formula, okay? I'm pretty sure they'll be very impressed with that. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the midpoint formula. All right, so what is the midpoint formula? Well, again, it's the midpoint. It's a formula that tells us the midpoint between two points. Okay, so we have one point here and another point here. Now, a point, what we're talking about is an xy point. Now, an xy point is something we can plot on the xy axis. This is also called a uh, coordinate, right? That's another word for it, or an ordered pair because we have a pair of numbers and they have a specific order. Uh, the first is X and the second is Y. So you need to know all those uh, terms, ordered pair, coordinate, or point. They're basically uh, synonymous. But the midpoint formula is a formula that tells us the point that's in between or midway between these two uh, points. Let's go ahead and look at these points graphically and we'll, better, uh, we'll get a better sense of what the midpoint formula is asking us. All right, so here's a little basic XY plane. So let's say this is one four. That's basically where uh, the point one four is at. And then if this is one four, this would be the point three six. So we're looking for a point that's midway. So in other words, if I kind of look at the distance between these two points, I'm like, okay, I need a point. What's the point that's midway? Well, it would be something like right here, right? This this uh, location, right? This is midway between these two points. So we're looking for the specific x y 
uh, uh, point that's midway between uh, one four and three six. Okay, so that's what the midpoint formula tells us. Now, how we do this is so so easy, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how actually um, actually how we do this. But I'm going to just tell you the answer right now before I show you the formula. Are we going to, all, all, all we're going to do? Okay, to find that specific midpoint formula there is you literally just take the averages of the x's. Okay, if I average the x's right here, these are the x coordinates, right? Remember again, we're dealing with x, y coordinate pairs. If we average the x's, that's going to be the x coordinate for our midpoint. And if we average the y's, that's going to be the y coordinate for the midpoint. It's so, so easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the formula because the formula looks a little bit scarier than, uh, you know, actually how easy this is, right? So this is the midpoint formula. And here we have two uh, points, x1, y1, x2, y2. So this is just an algebraic notation to delineate, hey, we have one point here and another point here, two different points, because we don't, you know, we're not trying to find the midpoint of the same point, right? So here's the point and then here's another point. You know, we're trying to find a point uh, trying to find the midpoint of two s different points. So in algebra, we can kind of, uh, you know, show that two points are uniquely different by using these little ones and twos. These are called subscripts, but this X value right here is different than this X value. That's all this means. So this is one point and another point. So again, the midpoint here is simply going to be the average of these respective uh, coordinates, okay? So in other words, let's go ahead and uh, see this in action right here. So this is the midpoint formula. So given these two points, the midpoint would be an xy point. Now this is an actual xy point. The x coordinate is the average of the x's. So how do we find an average? Well, we just take this point, add, um, add it to this point and divide it by two, right? We have two uh, pieces of information. So it's x1 plus x2 divided by two. And then uh, to find the y coordinate of the midpoint, we're simply going to add up the y's and divide it by two. But effectively, you're just finding the average, okay? And when we do this, we will uh, get the midpoint of whatever two points we're looking at. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this problem now. So here's our uh, coordinate one, our coordinates one four and three six. So we're going to find the average. So it's going to be the average of one and three, and then the average of four and six. So here's the formula. Let's go ahead and uh, follow the formula. So we're going to go ahead and add the x's up first. So what would be one plus three, and we're going to divide that by two, and then we're going to um, add up the y's. That'll be four plus six and divided by two. So let's go ahead and do this here. So one plus three is what? That's four. We'll do a little mental math. So one plus three is four. Four divided by two is two. So the midpoint for our x, y uh, coordinate here is going to be, our x coordinate is going to be two. And then here, our y is going to be four plus six is what? 10. 10 divided by two is five. So there you go. There is the midpoint, two, five. So going back up here to our graph, you can kind of see this right here. Well, oh boy, let me kind of erase this because this is uh, very confusing right now. All right, so let's kind of take the confusion off. So 2, 5 is this point right here. And let's just see if that makes sense. Well, if this is 1 right there and this is 3 right there, look, 2 is right there in, uh, in, in the middle. Okay, that definitely makes sense. And then if this is 4 and here is 6, well, this would be 5. So the two uh, point two five certainly seems to be the midpoint between these two points, 1, 4, and 3, 6. Okay, so the midpoint, not that difficult. Again, it's really how you're taught this. If you're you know, trying to understand something, you look at the formula, and the formula is just like totally confusing, well, that's why you need someone to explain this stuff. Now, if you're studying the midpoint uh, formula, you're likely also studying the distance formula as well and then the Pythagorean theorem, et cetera, et cetera. So if you need help with this, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel on all this stuff. I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel, so please take advantage of those. But uh, you can really learn this stuff um, in my pre-algebra and Algebra 1 courses, okay? If you're looking to do the distance formula, I believe I only teach that. Well, no, I believe that it's also in both of my courses, but uh, I have a little bit more geometry in my pre-algebra course, okay? For those of you that want to know a little bit more about area and surface area. But if you're looking at specifically for midpoint and um, distance formula and Pythagorean theorem, 
both of those courses would work for you, but I think I'd probably recommend the Algebra 1 course for most of you out there. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.